Hi, I'm Mark Needham with StarTree, and in this video we're going to learn about the force commit API in Apache Pino. The force commit API immediately commits consuming segments, and it's usually used when we've made a stream compatible change to our table config, for example, changing the segment threshold parameter. Let's have a look at an example of how to use it. So we've got a data generator and it's gonna produce messages with a timestamp, a UID and a count. Now we're gonna use the RPK tool to create a topic called events and we're just gonna put it with one partition to make it a little bit easier to see what's going on. Once that's done, let's pipe the data into Kafka. So we're gonna call our data generator again then we're gonna massage the data with JQ so that each of our events has a key. And then finally we'll use KCAT to ingest the data into Kafka. Now that that's running, let's go over to the other tab and we're gonna be using this schema here. So you can see we've got a dimension field for the UID, a metric field for the count, and then a timestamp field for the TS. Let's now have a look at our table config. So the most interesting thing to look at here is the flush threshold row. So this is currently set to 2.5 million. Let's go out of there and now we're gonna just call the add table command to create the table with the schema uh, and this table config. We'll give that a few seconds and you can see it's now ready. So we can go over to the Pino UI and have a look at what's been consumed. So we're gonna write a query that returns the, the segment name uh, of where a record belongs. We'll get the maximum timestamp for that segment and then we're gonna count how many records are in there and we'll order it by the uh, maximum timestamp. And you can see at the moment there's only one segment and at the, at the time we've run this, it's got 435,000 messages. So it hasn't actually got to the threshold just yet. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to our terminal. Uh, let's edit the table config. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna to go to the threshold rows and we're gonna just delete the last zero. So we're gonna effectively change it from 2.5 million to 250,000. And now we'll go back to the terminal and let's run the an update command on the table. And again, give it a few seconds and you can see it's now updated our table. Now at the moment, that new threshold of 250,000 will get picked up as soon as the consuming segment commits, which in this case is once it's ingested the old threshold of 2.5 million messages. But what happens if we want it to be picked up straight away, we actually need to use the force commit API. So let's call that. So we can call, we'll call that with curl. We pass in a post uh, command and we say which table it is and then we call force commit on the end, run that. It doesn't actually return anything, but if we go back to the Pinot UI and click on run query again, uh, you can see that we've now got two segments. So we've got one which has got 100,000 and then the first one was uh, was flushed when it was 788,000. If we run that a few more times, you see if we run it again, it's got a few more messages, so we're up to 188,000. And then if we run it one more time, you can see now that next segment has committed with 250,000 and then we've got a new one which has got 27,000 so far. Uh, so that's the end of this video in which we've learned how to use the force commit API in Apache Pino. Give it a try and let us know how you get on and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.